Um, I'm sorry, Jackie. I was hoping, could you reflect, and then I'll go to the back. Could you reflect a little bit on the Idaho, uh, the decision against the Idaho abortion law, particularly in light of uh, the Texas ruling in the other direction? I mean, is is there is there something that can be learned from this? Look, you know, I, I, I we put out a statement not too long ago about the particular uh, the Iowa decision. I talked about uh, the Texas um, the Texas decision yesterday, um, uh, which is uh, uh, which is the district court affirming that medical providers can deny life saving and health preserving care for women, even if they are suffering from hemorrhaging or or life threatening hypertension, which is what we saw uh, about uh, 24 hours and heard from um, from the te Texas district court. Look, you know, this is something, as you all were asking me about uh, what the president is going to lean into, this is something that he will talk about, uh, which is how Republican legislators uh, are working to roll back uh, the freedoms Americans have, uh, you know, really depended on for nearly half a century. And it's more and more clear that it is against the will of the majority of Americans. And that's what you're seeing, right? That's what you're seeing uh, even with the Idaho uh, decision. That's what we saw uh, with Kansas as well, is like the majority uh, the majority of Americans uh, are speaking, are, are making their voices clear, right? This is not uh, what we saw. The decision that we saw on June 24th, the Dobbs decision, uh, was not the majority rule, was not is there the voice. That can be learned from the opposing, opposing rulings, I mean, contrary rulings? Well, I, I mean, I think it's, it's basically what I just stated, right? Which is like, majority of Americans have, made, have been very clear on this. Uh, you know, when it comes to that Dobbs decision that came from the Supreme Court on June 24th, it was not major it was not of the voice of the majority of Americans. Uh, and uh, and what we're going to see is women across the country are going to continue to make their voices heard to reclaim rights uh, taken from them by the Supreme Court. Uh, President Biden and congressional Democrats are listening, and we're going to be com committed uh, to restoring the protections of Roe. And so that's what we're going to do. That is going to be our focus. Uh, but again, this is majority, the majority uh, of folks here in this country uh, disagree. They disagree because this has been life changing. Uh, when you think about the Dobbs decision that was done uh, just a couple months ago. Um,